Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God's duties and motherfucking responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, Pisces Ascendant. These people appear to go with the flow. They may not, though, depending on the sun and the moon sign. But at the natural state, when you catch them, when you catch them, whether it's just you and them, or it's just y'all and, and y'all at the most comfortable state with y'all, to y'all releasing conversations with each other, and, and, and you're at the, your, your best comfortable state, nine times out of ten, this is where your ascendant going to come out. And you're going to appear that you go with the flow, with the ties. You go, you go along with others as well as yourself. You know what I'm saying? At times, you may not be so aware of yourself, though, because uh, your chart ruler is, uh, uh, is Jupiter and Neptune. So you're gonna you're gonna go you're gonna want to go see where Jupiter at to see where your Pisces traits is gonna come out the most, and you're gonna want to go see where Neptune at to see where the illusion over your eyes is gonna be at the most. So you can know to look into that and really look deep into that, so you can find the reality out of the illusion, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's gonna create an illusion there. But when Pisces is in the first house, this is your personality off the bat. So people may throw illusions on you. They may have a certain aspect or a certain illusion about you and you're gonna have a certain so illusion about them. So be careful who you affiliate yourself with because you may be thinking a one way and it may be a whole nother way. Uh, they may be a whole another way of why you around each other you know what i'm saying so you got to be careful you know what i'm saying you be careful of manipulative people in your life and and be careful that you ain't manipulative be careful that you ain't throwing illusions on others to get what you want to get out of them you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying you may be you may be a pisces ascendant and you may be trying to affiliate yourself with the, the biggest drug dealer in your city you know what i'm saying just because you feel like you're gonna get discounts you know what I'm saying? And then fuck around and end up in a situation that wasn't yours. So you gotta watch that type of shit. You just gotta just be careful. You know what I'm saying? But you people are highly intuitive, so you know. You already should know. You know what I'm saying? Um, these are people got got great talents of of listening. They know how to listen. So don't be talking about no bullshit around no Pisces ascending people because they know how to listen. You know how to listen more to see see the 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 difference between the Pisces and Aquarius ascendant. The Aquarius and they may they may talk so much that they don't know how to listen. How you gonna listen if you're talking too much? Vice versa with the Pisces ascendant, you're not gonna be able to talk if you're listening too much. So you may become you may appear to be very passive, but you're very good listener. So yeah, don't be telling me talking about no bullshit or nothing like that because they see right through that shit. And then when you try to call them and you're wondering why the Pisces ascendant not picking up the phone, that's why, because they know you're gonna be on some bullshit, so they ain't gonna pick up the phone for you. They already know. They already feel it. They already feel it. Soon as soon as they see your name pop up on their phone with your number, they already they already feel the emotional stability. They already, they already feel it. They already know what's going on. So it's up to them if they answer the phone or not. You know what I'm saying? They just like that's how they is. You know what I'm saying? Um, they ain't two faced or the nothing. They just know who they want to be around. They know who they want. They know what energy they want to be around. They know what energy they don't want to be around. You know what I'm saying? You going to the uh now in the home you go into the fourth house this is this is a, this is a, another reason why they have these personality traits because when you go into the fourth house fourth house is gemini so in the, in the home they dealt with a lot of talkers a lot of talkers the pisces ascended people deal with a lot of talkers a lot of manipulators a lot of people who try to throw wolves over people's eyes a lot of people who throw mind games a lot of people who do a lot of shit like this this is another reason pisces ascended people have to watch out from people who manipulators or they have to watch out they don't be manipulators themselves because they probably they probably got raised by the best they probably was raised by the best <laughs> watch them motherfucker they probably was raised by the best so yeah you gotta you gotta watch 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 yourself being too manipulative or if you're on the other side of the coin over watch people who try to throw wolves over your eyes because people will be there to do that and they will be there to do that because that fourth house is gemini fourth house so inside the home they deal with that a lot they, they, they come they, they come they, they build comfortability with these type situations you know what i'm saying and then we're going to the seventh house the seventh house is uh uh virgo so at some form at at some point in time in your life as a Pisces ascendant, you're gonna need stability. You got to learn that you can't go with the flow all the time. See, and Virgos is the perfect mutable sign that that 
that's mutable, they mobile enough to go with the flow, but they just earth and grounded enough to not go with the flow. So these are people who who are Virgos are are they go they like they go along with everyone else not going along with them. This is why they appear to be criticized and nitpicky and stuff like that because they they going to go along with you but they going to complain and nag on the way. You know what I'm saying? And be like, "Damn, but you ain't even got no gas. How the fuck we going to get there?" But damn, nigga, I'm tired. How the fuck we going to walk that far? But nigga, you coming? Why the fuck you come then? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they, that's what it is. So this, per, for, so for the seventh house, this is the traits that Pisces ha have to learn to abide by. You, you're going to have to learn that it's going to be people in your life that dictate what you do. You're going to have to learn that it's going to be people in your life that's going to that's gonna tell you you can't be too passive or you can't be too much of this or get off off your ass. Or you're going you're gonna to have people who tell you in your life, stop being too aggressive. You got them aggressive Pisces ascendants. You know what I'm saying? They get aggressive. You know what I'm saying? And, and, because the emotions become too much and they're too out in the water and the currents may be too high. You know what I'm saying? The tides may be flowing too strongly. So they get aggressive. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they get careless. Lose shit and shit like that or whatever like that. So the seventh house Virgo will teach them to, uh, to, to pay attention more to details and be more critical of who you're around. Be more critical of your partner. You know what I'm saying? Look at the details. Look at body language. Be, be, don't be so accepting. Don't be so much going with the flow, cause you already can, you already go with the flow naturally. So you don't want to go 110 percent with the flow. You want to take yours back down a little bit. You want to go with the flow probably 70 percent. But that's that's why Virgo stands here on the seventh house. You know what I'm saying? So you so you're gonna you're gonna draw people in who may criticize you, or you're gonna draw people in that you may need to criticize in order to gain some type of stability in your life. You know what I'm saying? Now when we go to the tenth house. The tenth house, you know, this is how you're gonna reach your status quo in whatever situation you in. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're on Facebook, whether you're a celebrity, whether you got a job, whether you're in a relationship or whatever, to reach the status quo is the, the, the tenth house. Which uh which is Sagittarius. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be your tenth house. So at some point in time, you're gonna be a, you're gonna have to be a little bit more expressive and a little bit more outgoing. A little bit more outgoing than you naturally are. You know what I'm saying? Because you're already out there with the flow. You know how to go with the flow. But if, if, if it comes to a point that you have to go with the flow and you way out there in the ocean by yourself, that could get a little scary and dark for you. And the 10th house needs you to do this because it's Sagittarius. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, it, 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 shares, it shares Jupiter. So you're going to be able to gain enough knowledge going all the way out there to yourself you're gonna you're gonna be able to get the knowledge don't think you ain't you just have to put yourself out in them situations you know what i'm saying detach from home detach from um certain things that you attach to that's just like a cup of water you went and got a cup of water out the ocean you got the water in your hand right at some point in time in your life you're gonna have to throw that water throw that water up and what happens when you throw the water up it goes up and it splat it scatters and it splash everywhere it don't stay in form no more See, and, and that, that could get scary for Pisces, but, some, but you're going to have to learn that if you want to reach the status quo. You're going to have to learn how to overly trust. Say, you, say, for an example, say you're in a relationship, right? And your emotions start to become overwhelming because you, you're starting to see what your partner do that you dislike. You may dislike it, right? So you may become, you may become tit for tat, or you, or you may, like, you do this, they do that, you do this to the point that y'all spread apart. Or you may become overly naggy and overly attached to that person, right? But the tip house is Sagittarius, so at one point, at some point in time in your life, you're gonna have to learn how to detach yourself with no, with you can still feel, cause Sagittarius to feel, but how to detach your emotions? See, your emotions ain't your feelings. It's two different things. Feeling and emotions are two different things. You could feel something and it may strike a certain emotion, but what you felt may not is not the same as the emotion. Say you felt played, right? You may develop a destructive emotion. See, it's two different things. It's two different things. So you have to learn how to draw the line between the two. And this is one thing all water signs have to learn in this lifetime, how to separate emotions from feelings. You see, because fire and water are the filler signs but they express emotions in two different ways you know what i'm saying you have to understand that you know what i'm saying you have to understand that
first and foremost. So sometime in your life, you're going to have to learn how to be attached but detached. Learn how to be with someone but not, uh, not be absorbed in their energy also. Have your own form of energy. You know what I'm saying? And that's the only way you're going to be able to reach the status quo in this lifetime. You got to have your own motive. A person, a, a, like they had that saying, yeah, you could bring a goat to the water, but you can't teach them how to drink the water. That may not ever be how it's, that might not ever be it, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? So that's the perfect saying for this. Pisces gonna want someone else there who know how to do what they know how to do to do it. But at some point in time in your life, you're gonna have to go out there and learn it yourself and be a pioneer for yourself. And that's how you're gonna reach the status quo. You wanna, it may be scary, but once you learn the certain things you're supposed to learn in that, you're gonna get all the praise in the world. You get all the praise in the world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Y'all and y'all very intuitive, so you you know what I'm talking about all, all already. You just have to actually go through with it. That's it. Just go through with it, and and you'll realize what was so scary isn't scary at all, and you'll be able to do it ten times better, ten times be able to teach others to the point that you become a leader. You become a spiritual leader. Yeah. And that's the Pisces Ascendant, man. Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. Air flights, grams, and O's. Mm-hmm. <laughs>